journey with Wake Up. You can see a little bit here how Jordan spends a lot of his time when he's not here at the station. He is an accomplished church organist and director of the choir. And I know you started playing when you were young too, right? Yeah, piano in about second grade, organ roughly in uh, seventh grade in middle school. That's impressive. I don't know many middle schoolers playing the organ. Yeah, and I started playing for church too. And you know, the people at uh, St. Matthias Episcopal in East Aurora are gracious enough to allow me to lead their music program. People come here for the music and they're not disappointed. He brings joy and he challenges us. They have become some of my best friends here in Western New York. I'm, I'm blessed to have a wonderful group of singers. He adds an extraordinary sense of musicality to our worship. I was at a summer music camp at the church and our organist said, hey, do you want to go in and, and check out the, you know, check out the instrument? And he basically let me go in one afternoon and just um, play around. I actually played for my first church service uh, when I was 13. You know that you're not here just playing for yourself, you're playing for God, you're playing for the people out there. Um, and it's very different than just coming in and playing. You know, it's hard having a full-time a TV job during the week and giving up every one of your weekends. But St. Matthias here in East Aurora approached me and convinced me and it just felt right. He kind of created this little family for us and, and we're really thankful for that. With the choir, he has built an incredible community, incredibly cohesive group uh, who love just being together. I think I'm really lucky to be able to do two things that I, I truly love. We popped it out of rehearsal Wednesday night. So you don't, you don't say we're going to do it again during church oh, services. Oh no! no. Su Sunday morning, it's it's full go time. So when we did, I don't know if you caught our, our Christmas thing that we did. Uh, Mike and, and Jordan and I did um, up on the housetop right. as a little Christmas carol. And when you played the organ in church that day, you were just wearing socks and no shoes. And I thought it's so funny that you played, but you actually wear organ shoes. Yeah, I didn't even know that there were organ shoes. They're kind of, I guess, like dancing shoes. They're okay. all leather on the bottom, so you can so you don't slide your way down the pedals. I see, because otherwise it would be challenging. It gets to really play sticky. You can't really move okay. your feet. Yeah. That's